what I'm going to talk about today is how to mend socks when you're traveling or backpacking. Now, why would you want to mend socks while you're traveling or backpacking? First of all, healthy feet help provide comfort, keep you from having blisters. Also, it means less trash in the environment or in the landfill when you get home if you mend your socks. It also gives you fewer spare socks to carry and it saves money and shopping time. Be prepared. Take along a kit. First, you will need yarn or thread that is suitable for mending the hole. I'm going to use a bright colored thread today so that you can see it, but you would probably want to choose a color that matched the thing you were mending, uh, or at least was easily sewn into it in a way that looked normal. Um, you also need a needle that the yarn will fit through. I'm using an extra big needle today because the um, camera will show it better for you, but normally I would use one a little smaller because it's less work to actually darn with a shorter needle. Other things you need in your kit are a pair of scissors. I really like my little folding scissors system, but a little pair of scissors like come in a grocery store sewing kit would be fine. Or another alternative that has multiple uses is a seam ripper that can be used for cutting thread and material or for pulling out a seam that you want to fix. Other things that you might want in your sewing kit, if you prefer to use a thimble, put a thimble in your kit. You might want various colors of thread for other garments besides your socks. You might want some buttons or a safety pin to go in your sewing kit for quick repairs. And another thing you might like is a roll of tape, perhaps uh, first aid tape, to do quick repairs of holes and seams as well. But they don't work very well in the sock because they'll rub against your feet. The other thing you need is a darning egg. Various things you can use as darning eggs. One is an egg sized through smooth rock. That's ideal for when you're backpacking because it doesn't involve carrying something else and it might be something easily found when you're traveling as well. Other things you might have in your pack are a three ounce bottle of um, sunscreen. You might have a small pill bottle, bottle of travel sickness medicine or ibuprofen. You might have a flashlight with a rounded edge. Or you might even have a potato or piece of fruit that has a smooth edge. The main thing that's important is that these items would fit in the area of your sock that you're going to repair. So take your improvised darning egg and put it in your sock and make sure that it's going to fit. The first step is to put your darning egg inside the sock and hold it just open enough so that you can easily see where you need to work, but not too far open because you want your sock to close up properly. Then your next step is to thread your needle. Moisten the tip of your thread. I like to do with my mouth, but you can do that with your fingers and pass the needle or pass the thread through the eye of the needle. Sometimes that'll take a couple of steps to do that. And pull down so that you've got a reasonable length for the length of your arm of the thread. And you'll keep adjusting it as you go. To start with, you're going to anchor your um, yarn into your sock by kind of threading your needle into the weave of the sock. And then pulling it out. 
I don't put a knot in the end of my thread because that makes an additional thing to rub on my feet. But you can if it helps you with the process. Anyway, pull it in so that it's tight into the fabric of the sock. And then come back immediately next to the place where you just pulled that thread in. And pull it in alongside. Looks like I need to pull it this side in order to properly thread that in so that it'll go through. With a smaller needle it would make less difference. Okay, then snug it up and it should now be fairly secure in there. But just to secure it a little bit further, come back alongside up to where you want to start your mending. Now, one of the things you can do to help solidify your area is to ring around the sock. This may not be necessary if most of the fabric is pretty good, but when you've got an area like this that's kind of loose, you'll probably want to pull it together. So start out kind of weaving around the sock. Picking up some threads at a time, over, under. Now here I want to pull the ribs of this sock in a little bit, so I'm going to come across a line with this. Pulling this together a little bit. And continue in. And in an area like this that's still pretty unstable, I might go back and create a little bit more of a weave starting through the threads that exist. Pulling them in, going over and under. And over so that I've anchored it in the place where I've already stitched. Coming back across. And again, giving myself a little bit more thread to weave in. And now I'm going to Start filling the hole, going back and forth like a basket weave. Be sure that you take in the part of the stitching that anchored the edges of your hole. And you can see I've gone back and forth across here, continuing to anchor it with the stitching that I put around the edges.
and now I've gotten right down into the hole. And I'm going to start here going up and down through both the, thread, the yarn that I put across the hole and the remaining thread that's in the hole. Some people prefer to cut that out, but I would rather incorporate it in as part of the mesh of this. Plus it tends to help um, make the hole less obvious, especially if you're working with similar colored thread. So you're going up and down, up and down like a basket weave through the hole with your threads parallel. And now I see that I've got a space up here that I may have to go back up and fix. So while I'm right next to it, I'll just come back up there. and weave through this area that's also loose. Again, up and down, up and down in one direction till I've got anchoring points. And now turning and going across that pull the sides of that in. Oops. Turn my egg a little bit so that it's easier for me to work from. And as you can see, we pretty well filled this in now. Now we're going to look and see where we still need to fill it a little bit more to make it secure. Where we've still got little bits of hole to fill up. Come across. And even with this red thread, you can see that it's starting to be filled in. Make sure that you pull the thread a little bit away so that the loose end stays loose. And this area here is a little thin, but today I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to finish this up here weaving back and forth. And when it seems to be pretty filled up and secure, I'm going to take it across one more time. And now I'm going to create a knot by stitching across the other direction and then when I've got a loop there pulling my thread all the way through the loop closing it off and using my scissors or my knife to cut the thread off And I didn't do a very clean job of cutting that off. That may not matter. Or you can take your knife and cut it again. So there you go. There is the repaired sock. And there's what it looks like on the inside. And if this were matching thread, it would be very difficult to see. Now, in a sock hole that's a little neater than this one was, you can probably have a much neater hole, but this is sufficient to keep that sock on your foot and not causing you to get a blister.
in other colors of socks, you may want to match. And you may have a hole like these socks have where you still got a lot of a mesh that's uh, there. And you can just weave into that similarly to how I cross stitched this actual hole. And that will reinforce a heel or a toe. This one's gotten pretty large. Uh, so it'll take a lot of time to fill that in, but it still will reinforce that sock and make it soft and comfortable. Here's another spot that's pretty thin as well that could stand some dark thread we've woven into there. Okay, here's some thread that would match this a little bit better. Here's some thread that might be good on this or a more blue pair of socks. So taking that kind of thread with you is going to give you the opportunity to match your thread in your sock. If you can do this at home, it'll save you time while you're traveling and you'll be ready. But be sure to take some with you because when you're doing a lot of walking, suddenly places that you didn't know had potential holes become holes. Enjoy your travels.